Hey, how's it going guys? Zookeeper Chris here. You already know exactly what this video is going to be about, and that is Planet Zoo's 1.3 update, which will be coming out next week on August 25th. I want to share with you my initial reaction and coverage of the announcement, which actually went live during one of our streams, which of course you are always welcome to join us over at twitch.tv slash zookeeper Chris every Tuesday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. EST. Be sure to pop over there and drop a follow. With that being said, let's jump right into it. One, two, three, five, six, six sides. Hexagon. Yes. Oof. OK, math. Honestly, math was not my favorite. New free update is on the 25th of August. Wait, are you serious? Wait a minute. You serious? Did they just announce this? We get vending machines. <gasps> I knew it. I knew this was why they didn't send the weekly email. And this is why I knew it. Check Discord. I said it in Discord like last night. Yeah, because usually every week I get an email from Frontier saying like who's who's streaming for the week and what kind of live streams that they're doing. And I didn't get one this week. And I was like, I wonder if they only want to send one email this week and they want that one email to be this focus right here. And I knew it. So it says, uh, hey, yo, zookeepers, we're pleased to reveal free update 1.3 coming next week, the 25th of August. What day is that? <gasps> That's next Tuesday. We'll be streaming. Contains community requested features and some exciting new additions to Planet Zoo. Animal color variations. Um, they're going to be sticking to known and realistic colors by improving upon the general appearance of groups and herds with subtler differences in color. We've added a new way or we've added a way for you to see color and pattern info from the animal market and trading window. Nice. Very cool. That's good. And to provide our colorblind players with information. Oh, nice. Also very good. I love uh, the accessibility options there. Includes scientific terms for the color morphs that we use in game, such as if an albino is classified as albino, leucistic, or another color. Cool, cool. Uh, the availability of inheritable color morph genes in the animal market population is now variable per species. 6% of the jaguar populations are now black jaguars. Bird and reptile albinism or leu leucism is now more likely than ever before. Llama color morphs are extremely common and follow the same breeding rules as albinos. Interesting. Your existing zoo animals will uh, carry existing genetic information for both color and pattern. This info applies color variation on top of the animal's existing textures and allows for subtle and gradual changes in color between different animals. When animals breed, their offspring create color and pattern values in a range around the average of their parents, most often looking similar to at least one of their parents. However, there is now a small chance. Um, OK, so there's like a small chance of a them looking a bit different, like a distant relative. That's cool. They research animal color and pattern variation. Found that documentation was rare and highly variable in quality, depending on the species. True. <laughs> We've tried to avoid coloration that only applies to single individual animals as the contrast of color would begin to look strange in groups. We have not added color variation to exhibit animals, partly because their environments are so dense it is harder to distinguish minor variation at a distance. True. So like basically it's like why waste the time and resources working on exhibit animals when you're really not going to see them that often to be honest because how often when you're in planet zoo are you sitting there looking at your exhibit animals in there you know it that's smart yeah i agree there um animal food management page they're adding a food management page to provide you with one location to see all of the animals and habitats in your zoo and what food grades the animals are being given. The projected food costs for the year are going to be in there. That's good. Oh, yeah. 
how many keepers are assigned to look after your animals in a habitat. Well, that seems like a good thing to know. How much time has passed since they were last fed? Oh, this seems like a really good page. Like cost per year for feeding your animals, that's good information. A lot of times, a lot of times people's franchises go broke because of feeding animals. Like elephants, super expensive animal. <laughs> cool. That's gonna be cool. A new sandbox map, awesome. Set in a location to be revealed soon. Does that mean you guys think they're going to announce a DLC? And the new sandbox mode would be where the DLC is going to be? Maybe. That'd be cool because they did that with uh, didn't didn't when the um, South America pack came out. Um, they came out with that new, you know, South America sandbox map, which is free for everybody. It was free for it's free for everybody. A Mediterranean climate one. That'd be cool. Woo, good morning. Woo, good morning. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Hooded. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for that tier one resub three months, dude. I appreciate that so much. Um, one thing, by the way, that just throwing out there, really think it. I don't know how easy this is going to be to do, but I would freaking love to have any sub be able to pick an animal. And then whenever you resub, you get to hear that animal's vocalization. I think that'd be super cool. I have no idea if it's possible, but I really want to look into doing it. Cause that would be super cool. And then like, maybe I could do like a GIF of that animal too. So like whenever you resub, you get your favorite animal popping up in the sound. Is the tropical South America map free for everybody? I'm almost positive it is. Cause somebody was, uh, somebody, we were talking about that the other day. I just want wombats, koalas and wallabies. Koalas would be cool. Time scenarios, we're adding a free time scenario in Estonia. A timed scenario. Ooh, that's an interesting way to, to do things. That could be rough. Vending machines have been heavily requested, so we're putting them in Plant Zoo. Cool, cool, makes sense, that'd be cool. They're placed like a path extra, such as a bench or a bin, and not like a shop with a path connection. Okay, cool. So that's cool. They're letting Planet Coaster players know it's going to be different in Planet Zoo, because they know there's a lot of Planet Coaster players here. Staff management multi-select. Thanks to community feedback, we're adding in multi-select to the staff management UI. You can select more than one staff member at a time. You can train multiple staff at once, give multiple pay raises, assign multiple staff to work, and fire multiple members of staff at once. Perfect. Perfect. During hard, dark, difficult times, we can just fire 20 staff members at once. We had to do that in our uh, our maze race map. <laughs> Quality of life changes. OK, dismiss functionality for zoo alerts. I thought you can already do that. Maybe there's a new different way to do it. Turn on or off scenery lights all the time. <gasps> that is awesome. So now you can turn on your scenery lights in the middle of the day. So like if you're you, you have like a cave that you build, you can have the scenery lights turn on in your cave. That is that's cool. A lot of this is you see, this is like a little tiny thing at the end. But I think a lot of people are going to love this. That's awesome. That is awesome. We were just talking about this a couple weeks ago, maybe last month. I think it was when we were doing like the polar bear um, den. Lights will not work without power unless they're solar powered. Yeah, maybe. I, I didn't know if they were talking about the solar powered light. Yeah, I guess there's are there solar powered lights in game? I don't think so, because they all only come on at night. I don't know. Uh, we're thrilled to bring you additional creativity with new scenery assets. The foliage includes plants and smaller sapling trees. Awesome. I would love little sapling trees. We're adding in three new paths. Awesome. Free rocks have been made to complement our new biome. What's the new biome? Be paired with bug fixes, gameplay tweaks designed to improve your plant zoo experience. You'll get the full list of update notes when 1.3 goes live next week. Free. Three free rocks. Free. You get three new paths, and the free rocks have been made to complement our new biome. 
So there's going to be new rocks with a new biome. No orange juice. I had it earlier today. I hit the OJ early. What biomes have rocks? Well, it means like, you know, there's currently a tropical biome and tr there's tropical rocks. You know what I mean? So let's see. Update. So they announced this one. OK, there's got to be a new pad. There's going to be a new animal. They updated. Look, so they announced 1.2 update on the 26th at 12 p.m. 26th at 12 p.m. And then on the 31st, they announced. Let me look at the timeline here. Put on your tinfoil caps, everyone. Let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. Give me a second. Let me whip out the let me whip out the calendar here. OK, so listen. March 31st. And then the DLC came out one week after that. This one, they announced March 26th, so that was a little bit earlier. And the DLC came out the same time. Aluminum foil. Yeah, you can make a you can make a tinfoil hat out of that. So, yeah, so this was what, five days after? Well, that was weird, though, because they announced their update here on a Thursday and then they announced the DLC on a Tuesday. So does that mean that this Thursday we might hear a DLC announcement? I'm thinking. What do you guys think? I think maybe Thursday we'll get a DLC announcement to complement this update announcement. Yeah, Lemon. Yeah, the updates usually come with DLCs. 1.2. And what is, and this is 1.3. Yeah, it's gotta be, a, it's gotta, because 1.1 was DLC, 1.2 was DLC, and now this is 1.3. It's gotta be DLC. This is exciting. It's exciting. If you guys wanna see the uh, 1.3 update and you're on PC, there's the link for that. They showed, oh, they, okay, on their tweet, they showed genetic variation on uh, Crocs. You do this, right? Isn't this cut? They're showing off color variation here because this one looks super grayed, washed out compared to this one. Nine days at Gamescom. Well, the, the new update will be out before then, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine up nine days. That's the 27. Oh, God. Yeah, Gamescom would be after this, right? conspiring about a new uh, DLC. I'm just saying, I'm anticipating a DLC. Now, here's another thing to think about as well. With COVID going on, there there's a good chance that there might like what if there's not a DLC? What if what if it's just a uh, just um, you know, this update here. It could be. I'm just saying, uh I'm a very big person on like I I don't like getting overhyped for things. I I think a lot of times with games and gamers um we set crazy high expectations for ourselves and for our games that we love and we really want something to come out and we get hyped out over our minds and then it's not what we wanted it to be and i just kind of try and like bring myself down you know so i always just think about what you know i i think about the the, the best possible scenario but also like what could happen you know and covid is this is their first update that they're doing where it's completely through covid they're all working from home. So there is a chance that we might not get the DLC with this. I think it'll come out. But who knows? Who knows? The The announcement date is funky because it's different than the other ones, right? Like I said, um, last time they announced the update on a Thursday and then they announced the DLC on a Tuesday. Now we're on a Tuesday and we've got this. So I wonder. I wonder. We'll see, though. So there you have it. That's my initial reaction to today's big news. Thanks for watching. As always, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy Planet Zoo content. Fingers crossed for a DLC announcement coming soon. I'll be sure to upload another video on that if we do get one. Until next time, stay wild.